in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm, lies LeChuck's Fortress. So, when are we going to resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's Threakwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. I. Guybrush Threepwood is finished! I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. I'm off to find Big One. It has a picture of a parrot on the front. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around, Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island, a fascist dictatorship run by an over-bloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy-to-read reference map, courtesy of Dread Tours. You can use it to show me where you want to go. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Smith. You must have me confused with someone else. Smith, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification? Why, yes, I... Good heavens! My wallet's been stolen! Of course it has, sir. You'd better come with me. Governor Fat would like a word with you. I'm really very busy. Could we do this another time? Coming. Well, Mr. Oh, excuse me. Well, Mr. Threepwood, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you here as my guest. Would you like to hear the story of the time I blew LeChuck's top? <laughs> Funny you should mention LeChuck, as he's the reason I brought you here. Ah, you wanted to thank me for getting rid of him, huh? Well, no thanks are necessary. You see, I... Perhaps you didn't kill him quite so thoroughly as you imagined. He looked perfectly healthy the last time I saw him. Last time you saw him? Oh no, but Chuck's back. I beg your pardon, did you say something? Could I hide out here for a while? You can hide out until the Chuck comes to pick you up. 
You see, it put a sizable bounty on your head. Oh? A bounty I intend to collect. Oh. I guess that bounty would buy a lot of bacon grease and pure fat, huh? Why, you... You can figure it out while you wait in jail for LeChuck to pick you up. Take him away. Yes, sir, Governor Fat. Come on, you little weasel. I'll be back. Come on. Don't try to escape or anything. Walt will chew you to bits. Okay, well, I'll be back to relieve you at 11. <laughs> what a ferocious looking dog. Hello, little doggy. The door is locked. A fine example of dieting gone horribly wrong. Hey, who's your tailor? I hope I don't have to sleep here. I don't want to. I can't reach it. Watch me flip it right into my pocket. They don't call me the Bone Master for nothing. Doggy doggy, here boy. <laughs> Mr. Willie Gorilla, arrested for grinding his organ in public. Mr. Guybrush Threepwood, arrested for infractions too numerous to list. There's a banana in here, and an organ. Hey, that <laughs> tickles! More bets? Okay, here we go. Three black. All right! You're a winner, sir. Which prize would you like? What you got left? We have money, an invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, and a three-day vacation on fabulous Hook Island. I'd like the money. The money it is. Big prizes for just one piece of eight. Number. First, give me the password. If this is three, what's this? Five. Right. The winning number will be 19 black. Thanks.
I'll knock. What do you want, kid? Who are you and what are you doing back there? I'm Bruno, and that's none of your business. Get lost. You again? I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Sorry to bother you. What is it this time? Have you ever heard the legend of the mighty Guybrush? Well, don't you want to hear it again? You are starting to annoy me. Open up! This is a raid! Get lost! What? What's the next winning number going to be? Please give me the password. You have to get it right three times. If this is five, what's this? One? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is one, what's this? Three? That's two. One more. If this is three, what's this? Four? Okay, you must be a member of the Gamblers Club, but I don't recognize you. What? You don't remember me? No, but that's okay. You wouldn't have gotten the password right if you weren't a member. The winning number will be 13 black. More bets? Okay, here we go. Nineteen black. All right! You win again. Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. I think that's enough for me today. Okay, Ralphie. See you tomorrow. Bless your bets, please. Hello. How you doing? I'd like to place a bet. Betting costs money, kid. One piece of eight for one game. Oh, yeah. Here. Okay, kid. Which number you want? I'd like 13 black. Okay. Here we go. Black, you're a winner, kid. Which of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have 60 pieces of eight, or you can have the invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, or you can have a three-day vacation on fabulous Hook Island. Well, which will it be? I'd love to have the invitation. He wants the invitation. Congratulations. Thanks. Big prizes for just one piece of eight. She looks kind of surly. Shh! Bad idea. This is a library! Excuse me. Shh! This is a library! Whisper! Now, what is it? Why do you have a model lighthouse here? There's a new lighthouse being built in town. That is a scale model of what it will look like. 
It's very attractive for a lighthouse. Yes, and it will be very bright, too. It will have one of the most powerful magnifying lenses in the Caribbean. I'd show you with the model, but unfortunately the bulb has burned out. I'm looking for a book. Do you have a library card? I must have left it in my other pants. But you do have one. Certainly. I'll have to issue you a temporary card. I'll need some personal information. Name? Herman Toothrot. Address? 221B Baker Street. Age? Ninety, uh, twenty-one. Occupation? Freelance. Vices? Jaywalking. I see. All right, here's your temporary card. You may check books out of the library, but only four at a time. That's about as many titles as I can remember anyhow. What book are you looking for? Well, I don't know. What have you got? You expect me to name every book in the library? Use the card catalog like a normal person. Where do you want to go? The sign says the Booty Boutique, Mementos, Souvenirs, Artifacts. Well, I want a cracker. Uh -huh. It says beware of parrot. I'd like to buy this sign. Sorry, that sign's not for sale. Oh. Well, uh, I guess I could sell it. That'll be five pieces of eight. Okay. I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy this map piece. That's six million pieces of eight. Do you want it? I can't afford that much. Too bad. I have an eye patch in every shape. I'd like to buy these eye patches. Actually, those belong to my son. They aren't for sale. He looks like he's really into this stuff. Do you take credit? Yeah, like you have one. But I do accept personal checks or trade-ins. What kind of trade-ins do you accept? I'll take most old swords, some used parrots, almost anything valuable made of bronze, and a few old ship parts. Would you give me the map piece for any of those things? No, but there's one thing I might trade for the map piece. What would you trade for the map piece? There was a certain ship that sunk and I'd really like the figurehead. I'd give you the map if you got the figurehead for me. Can you tell me about the ship with the figurehead? The ship was a huge galleon named the Mad Monkey. Nobody knows where it sank or why. But the figurehead is supposed to be the most fabulous piece of art ever. That's why I want it. I'm a collector of fine art, as I'm sure you can see. 
Nice shop you got here. Thanks! I pride myself on the quality of my merchandise. I only sell the finest of pirate memorabilia. Even the trade-ins are first class. And I always make you the best deals. How can you afford to do that? Volume! I have to go now. That collectible plate is worth a mint! Wow! I knew those would be valuable one day. I'd like to buy this well-polished old saw. Alrighty! That'll be 25 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy this ship's horn. Alrighty! That'll be 40 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go! Thank you. He looks like he's really into this stuff. That's part of the Big Whoop treasure map. I don't know a lot about the piece, but there's supposed to be a book in the library that tells all about the whole map. That's an authentic pirate's fish hook. Found it inside a crocodile who was too petered out to move. That is a nice looking beard. I'd like to buy this mirror. Alrighty! That'll be 15 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. Excuse me. I'd like to rent a costume. Our costumes are all gone. Or on reserve. Sorry. But you have tons of costumes. They're all reserved and waiting to be picked up. I'd really like to rent a costume. Try us after Mardi Gras. Why are your costumes so popular? I'm the only costume shop in a five island radius. And besides, everybody who's anybody is going to the big Mardi Gras celebration at Governor Marley's mansion. I'd really, really like to rent a costume. Look, if you don't have a reservation, you don't have a costume. I need to rent a costume. Next time, make a reservation. I have to rent a costume. Sorry, can't help you. My life depends on renting a costume. Can't you see I'm busy? Did I ask you about renting a costume yet? I don't have a costume for you. Um, I'm looking for a costume. I don't have a costume for you. You look busy. I'll come back later. Ah, you have a costume on reserve. Well, that's a different story. Let's see. Your costume is right over here. Walk this way, please. Well, here it is. You'll surely be the talk of the party in this. Well, have fun and enjoy your costume. What a beautiful dress. Nice costume. I should check with the shopkeeper first. Great costume. I think this one's my favorite. I think this one's my favorite. I think this one's my favorite. See the world. Sightseeing. Sightseeing. What are you looking at? See the world. Last day before I leave for Fat Island. Hi, my name's Guybrush. 
I'm Captain Kate Capsize. Like to charter a ship? I do weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, you name it. Could I have one of those leaflets? Yeah, okay. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. Not many people want to charter a glass-bottom boat around here. Pretty soon I'm off to Fat Island to try my luck there. But let's talk turkey first. My fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Don't you think 6,000 pieces of eight is a bit high? No, I don't. Do you give credit? <laughs> I don't have that much. I guess you'd better find some more then, huh? Three-hour tours. I'm searching for the treasure of Big Whoop. Yeah? When I was the first mate on the Limping Limpet, we went in search of Big Whoop. We'd heard it was buried under a place called Blinky Island. Never found the island or the treasure. The captain eventually died of boredom while we were crossing the Sea of Beige Flotsam. I hope your luck is better. Could I have one of those leaflets? Hey, these things cost money. I just remembered I'm late for a party. You and everybody else on this island. If you need a ship, you know where to find me. Sightseeing. Cruises. Check it out. Glass bottom boat. Capsize charters. Glass bottom boat for sightseeing or special interest voyages. There's a picture of her on it. Three hour tours. Sightseeing. Hello there. Sorry, son. Didn't have my horn out. Could you say that again? Hey, old man. How about blowing off the cannon? How about just blowing off? My name is Augustus DeWatt, not old man. And this cannon is for official purposes only. See the world. Cruises, sunken galleons. Howdy! Welcome to Stan's previously owned coffins. We handle the dead for a lot less bread. What are you looking for, son? Need a bin for your next of kin? Want a family plot without spending a lot? You're in luck! Just look at all this quality merchandise. Never before touched by a living soul. Most of it used only for a few hours. Premature burial, you know. That sort of thing. Well, speak up. Or are you dead? Either way, you came to the right place. Didn't you used to be a used ship salesman? Well, yeah. But I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. I'm looking for a good used coffin. Amazing! When you first walked in here, I said, Now there's a guy who needs a good used coffin. There happens to be an excellent deal right behind you. Let's go take a look-see. Now this here is the Cadillac of coffins. Look at all that leg room. There's room in there for Long John Silver himself. Here, let me get in and show you. Yes, a man can really rest in peace and comfort with one of these. Why should a man's coffin be any smaller than his bunk at sea? Can I show you anything else? I gotta go. See you later. Here, take this complimentary hanky. Just my way of saying, I can. 